Hello, my name is Rob Karlmark, and I'm a meteorologist here at ABC 10 in Northern California. So uh, this is a, one way that we are really trying to communicate all the information for rain, for snow, for snowmelt, reservoirs, and just water in general up and down California. And if you're not familiar with this lake behind me, this is Lake Shasta. This is really one of the key ways that we capture and we hold on to water and we release it slowly for people that use water for agri agriculture, for urban uses, for uh, all sorts of different uh, customers down the line, so to speak, as well as fish in the river. Salmon are in the Sacramento River and they need water coming out of this lake. Now, this is really important because a couple of years ago, back in 2021 in September, it was way down, near record lows. And it was, quite honestly, a shock to the system and really horrifying. Well, since then, We've had a number of big years for us, obviously this year, and it's come up 155 feet. Then you look at what's left, there's about 30 feet left in this lake before they're really gonna have to open up these spillways and keep it from going over the top of the dam. So there's still some room left in Shasta, but it has come up in a major way, and it is now 82% uh, full. This is really important, it's more than average. When you take a look at Oroville, which is also a massive lake, it's a, a little bit up from the town from Oroville, somewhat near where Chico is. Uh, that lake is at 82 capacity, way above average. And then you look at some of the smaller lakes like Folsom. Uh, Folsom's about one quarter the size of an Oroville or of a Shasta. And right now it seems artificially low. Well, what's going on there is that some of these lakes are in full flood protection mode. In other words, they're releasing water because more water's coming in and they're still getting ready for the big, long, spring melt season. So there's plenty of water that should get most of these lakes, if not all of them, very close to full by the time we get to the peak reservo reservoir storage season, which is right in the middle of, of summer, but right around June to July. So the whole system's functioning very well. This is the San Francisco Bay. If you're not familiar with what we're looking at here, this is the Bay Bridge from Oakland going into San Francisco. This is what we call Treasure Island. There's the Golden Gate Bridge right there. And when you start to see all this muddy sediment in the water, that really tells you that the whole system of water starting off high, going through these lakes and reservoirs into the big rivers like the San Joaquin or the Sacramento and then out to the ocean, this is how it's supposed to look. This is a normal functioning process that keeps the rivers healthy and just keeps the whole system working as intended. And then we get to the big issues here across California, one of which is the drought. If you go back to September of this rainy season, because we uh, have our rainy season start from October until the end of September the following year, because that's usually how it goes, uh, we were in a bad spot. You never know how the season's going to go until the storms start coming. And we got a lot of early storms. We got many of them. Many of them were cold. And then look what happened to the worst part of California drought-wise. The San Joaquin Valley, the breadbasket of the world, they have no drought whatsoever. And in fact, in that part of the state, their issue is long-term flooding because we still have major snowpack in the Southern Sierra, almost three times compared to average, and that's still yet to melt. In fact, they even got some more snow yesterday, bringing Mammoth now officially above 700 inches at the bottom and more than 800 inches at the top. New record for them, Palisades Tahoe, which is near Tahoe, Kirkwood, which is nearby as well as at least South Lake Tahoe, getting very close to 700 inches, and Dodge Ridge is in the Central Sierra, great ski area, by the way, family owned, and what you need to know about them is that this is the longest and biggest season they've ever had. They've been open since the 50s, and uh, they started, op they opened up extremely early, and now they're going to be open late, and they've got plenty of snow, record levels of snow for them. What's going to happen over the next several days is that we're going to get a drying out period. Then we're going to get basically one more decently sized storm, and then we're going to start to dry out for a while. So we are celebrating the sunshine here in Northern California. You saw how much water we have and how much is coming in, so we can enjoy it. Guilt-free sunshine. Cool temperatures are going to be kicking around here for a while, and then we've got a dry weekend ahead. However, we're not completely dry. As I'm taping this on early uh, Thursday morning, we are looking at some light lingering snow that's mostly going to Southern California. The issue here with this is that it's just keeping things going. A lot of people are just ready to move on, get into a nice sunny weekend ahead. But that spot in particular, the Sierra, will be hit 
with some ongoing snow showers into the afternoon. And then we have something called an inside slider, which basically goes north to south over land versus out of the ocean. And that keeps the snow going. It's going to be light, but keeps it going through the weekend. This is what it looked like in Southern California as yet once again, another day with rain and snow in the mountains, places like Big Bear, which got some snow yesterday. As far as our local forecast, we call it the Big Mountain uh, Backyard Forecast. We're going to be looking at highs in the 50s, so kind of a cool day with a little bit of wind. That's always sort of the telltale sign when you go northwest wind that tells you that something's up. The pattern has essentially changed. And we're going to be watching over the next several days as we're enjoying the sunshine. Locally, sports are going to be happening again. We've got opening day for baseball. The A's are going to be playing. Uh, the uh, Anaheim, the Los Angeles the Angels, excuse me. I grew up in Southern California, so uh, pardon my uh, slip there, but this is the deal, folks. We've got more snow coming, and the way that this comes is over land. We call this an inside slider. So it basically moves down and then starts to sling snow on the east side of this area, which does include the Tahoe Basin. Mammoth can get snow in situations like this. And we're looking at some light, continued snow once we get into the tail end of the weekend. Just so you know, I showed you highs in the 50s. We're supposed to be in the upper 60s, and we could be as warm as the 80s around here this time in late March. Nowhere near anything like that. We're slowly but surely going to see warming into the 60s and dry. And then we've got one storm Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we're going to warm up maybe even into the 70s for next weekend.